there is an effect in After Effects called CC Cylinder, which allows you to make those kind of 3D strokes. It can be used multiple ways, but this will be an example usage of a logo animation. Now we have a very simple logo turn and we want to add some flying lines to it. The way you can do this with CC Cylinder is taking a pen, making the stroke fairly big and just creating a line across the screen. Okay, we have a normal path. What we can do, we can apply CC Cylinder to this path. As you can see, this path became rounded. We cannot see it perfectly here, but if we click on the path, content, shape, click on the path and maybe make it lower here, you can see this is now a cylindric shape. It only emulates 3D, this is not real 3D, but After Effects does a great job. We can change the radius if you want this narrower. We can change the position if you want the starting point to be different. For example, I want this to start somewhere here from the bottom of the logo. So what I do, I position it with the Y and X axis to the according place. Perfect. Now for the rotation, X, Y and Z. This will completely change the rotation. So be careful what you do with those rotations. It all depends what kind of animation you want. You can see this looks really beautiful. Now, if you are dissatisfied with the colors because it automatically adds lighting and shading, if you want a consistent 2D color, you just go to shading, change the ambient value to 100. If you still want to get rid of every little bit of shading, go to light and turn it to zero. There is no lighting, the color would be consistent with your original design. Currently, we just have a cylinder. So if you want to animate this additionally, go to the shape layer and add trim pads. Trim pads, you animate it as usual. You just go to the beginning, go to 0%, keyframe, keyframe, go somewhere to 15 frames and 100, 100. Perfect. Now I will take the start keyframes and just move them forward. Do not adjust. I will just press right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. Okay, we have easing on the keyframes and we have this type of animation. We can adjust the starting and ending position and we can adjust the rotation if we want. I can, for example, if I want more of those lines, duplicate and either I take this and for example, a little bit lower, I should use the position values to change the position of this object. I'll give it a slight rotation so it isn't the same as the previous animation and I'll stagger this a little bit. This is how you can add those interesting lines to your animations. Of course, we should also animate the stroke width or for example, change the radius for each object so it looks a little bit more unique. You get the idea. Generally, you want to duplicate this simple line. You want to change the parameters a little bit. You need to check the parameters, what they do, and you will have this cool, unique effect on your animation and your logo reveal might become just a tiny bit more interesting.